All significant public health advances involve and require the use of law. Lawyers are agents for social change. The students that I met at UC Hastings all had one thing that tied them together. They wanted to make the world a better place. If you're going to be a lawyer in the 21st century, you need to understand the areas in which you practice. If you don't understand the health sciences, it's very hard to do health law. The future is interdisciplinary education. What we want to do is prepare students to be at the leading edge, not only to understand the health sciences and health law, but to help define it. Being in class with medical students um, gives us a view into a world that we have no idea about. The awesome thing about UC Hastings and the consortium is that it allows you to tailor your experience any way you want it. We have faculty that specialize in reproductive technologies, we have faculty that specialize in, in genetics, we have faculty that specialize in neuroscience, uh, we have uh, health law, health finance, really the entire spectrum. In addition, students are able to enroll in coursework at UCSF in the School of Medicine or the School of Nursing, Dentistry, Pharmacy, or the Graduate Division. UCSF is the number one health university in the world. This year, I was number one in medicine, in dentistry, in pharmacy, and nursing in NIH funding. And they just have an amazing cadre of talented, creative, innovative, uh, folks that we're able to work with day in and day out. UC Hastings is very dedicated to great scholarship. We're also interested in doing what's called engaged scholarship. At some point, the scientific results that have come from the laboratory or come from the library need to be translated into real-world terms. From the UCSF side, from the health policy research side, comes evidence, comes truth. And from the law, from the UC Hastings side, comes an understanding of what might be possible. We get to take the research that people at UCSF have and help their research come more to life. That's really where the consortium helps research being done at UCSF turn into something that actually affects people's lives and the way that we think about healthcare. The Medical Legal Partnership in many ways is at the forefront of pushing interdisciplinary education and care. For our patients, many of whom are low income and cannot afford a lawyer, uh, these law students provide a service that in other respects would not be possible. Our health and our health outcomes have as much to do with our social status and our social environment as it does biology or disease process. If you are living in a home that is infested with mold, that is going to make you sicker and some amount of medical treatment can help with that, but really if the problem is your housing conditions, that's something a lawyer can help you with. When you have that interdisciplinary education, that interdisciplinary research going on, that's where you get progress happening. That's when you get brilliant minds from you know, two great institutions coming together, working together to solve a problem. That's when we see students really come to life and you see medical students and law students working together to really solve policy problems and solve the dilemmas that our healthcare system faces.